Good morning folks, Monday morning day one of the move after a little bit of uh, rest and recuperation in York with Tom and Abby and Gemma and I've been in this morning and switched everything off, could have been done last night but I imagine it just slipped everybody's mind. As you can see the bar is empty apart from one mad squirrel beer which we had, looks like it was reduced twice to get it sold so I imagine that there was a bit of a mad rush on like last night to get rid of all the beers so we didn't have to move anything into the new place and now I've turned the fridge off the cellar cooler the underbar chillers it's quite an eerie silence in here instead of its usual bustly vibe but that will just be migrating Behind this here wall, we can't knock through because there's a staircase there. Everybody's asked, I just thought I'd throw that in. But yeah, behind this wall, we will be migrating into 104 to 106, taking up two units essentially, and expanding fourfold. Begins today. Still a lot to do, uh, but I've come in here to start disconnection of these four trusty hand pulls and the uh, six tap keg font. The six tap keg font is what we're going to be using to bring the still bagging box ciders up to the bar via a flow jet pump and the four hand pulls will accompany the four hand pulls that I bought new which are already in situ. Looking down here you will see that uh, the keg lines went via two undercounter chillers, one of which we used the recirc to chill the cooling jackets on the cask ales, and the other one had the recirc to chill the bar font itself. So now it's time to disconnect these. They aren't going to be needed in the new place, so I may sell them or I may use them somewhere else. They would come in handy as uh, glycol chillers for brewery tanks at a push, but I don't think I'm gonna use them for that. I could build something a little bit more efficient. And then we've got to move all of the uh, crisp section and basically pull this place to pieces. Shelvin's gonna come out, all the spirits are gonna migrate next door. They have quite a lot to do, yes, quite a lot to do indeed, the glass washer's got to go, this bottle fridge which looks relatively empty at the minute, it's just done a good job flogging off the stock, this needs also to be disconnected and taken next door, let's get myself framed, so I'm going to just uh, commence with the removal, um, it's a big job today, it's going to keep me preoccupied for, the, for most of the day so I imagine it will be one of those occasions where I pick up the camera and update you on the vlog as we go along. Might even be able to set up a bit of a time lapse thing going on with the tripod for disconnecting these taps, we'll see. Oh, 
trusty steed will take you next door to ride again, my friend. Get these brick trays out of here. Oh yes, baby. This old machine's seen some kind pull through her, indeed. Lovely bit. She's heavier than I remember. There she comes. I said I wasn't going to do this tonight, but I have managed to stay until nearly 10 o'clock. Uh, we got the bar varnished, we got the little upstands made for all the spirits, I got uh, water and hose pipe fitted into the cellar as you saw there. We've got the glass washer in the kitchen installed and ready to go. Just needs tidying a little bit around there. Boxing in, getting all the uh, right implements into position, such as the baskets and everything like that. I don't know if I showed you this last week, the ramp. I probably did. That's in there. I didn't do that today. I did that last week. So tomorrow is the last day. We've got a big push. We've got to get the big fridge in. We've got to get all the signs up. 
and we've got to get all of the shelves populated with glasses, spirits, beer bottles and everything else. I don't think we're going to make it personally, but time will tell. And relax. Finally home. Oh, let me get comfortable and face the camera. So, ignore that. <laughs> um, I'm home. I thought I'd add a little bit more to the vlog today because uh, I'm rushed at work and I don't seem to want to stop. You know, I'm just, just plowing through all the time. And uh, when the pressure's on uh, this hard, it's very difficult to find the time. It's very di difficult to warrant devoting the time to the vlog. It's only because of everybody out there who's helping us on Patreon uh, which I feel a, an obligation to put the vlog out there on a daily basis otherwise I'd probably skip a lot more than I am doing uh, but today was pretty tough uh, we've only got tomorrow to go until effectively we open the doors on Wednesday um, it's going to be a soft opening we're not really sending any invites out, we're just going to have dribs and drabs of people coming in. Um, and then obviously if anything goes wrong, it goes wrong without a huge kerfuffle. Uh, and then the big proper opening on Thursday. So I guess we are going to have a little time on Wednesday to do things. I was hoping to get more done today, uh, but Sam didn't turn in and... Stuart never rocked up until one o'clock because he was burning the candle at both ends last night trying to finish off all the cascales on the bar uh, until four o'clock in the morning with a couple of usual suspects Simon and Nicky I'm sure you're watching naughty naughty so he was uh, late in today Sam, uh, rang in sick, don't think he was on the pop, um, it's just one of them things, but we managed to plough through anyway, and uh, brushed it off, brushed it off today, so the downside is, it meant that we were at work until, what's the time now, 9.26, I keep getting everything wrong because I didn't put the clocks back at work, I think I said 10 o'clock. It was nine o'clock when I left. And because we were away this weekend, uh, not a lot has got done in the house. In fact, very little has got done in the house for the past couple of weeks. I dent for keeping my testicles attached to my body. Pan the camera across and show you the pile of laundry that we have to get through because Gemma would castrate me. Um, but with laundry in mind, uh, I thought, well, I could help out, but no, no. I'm going to have a beer instead and edit the vlog. I have to edit the vlog anyway. It's sort of part and parcel of it. So uh, this is something, excuse me, my eyes are itchy because I've come into the heat. So this is something that we picked up from the House of Trembling Madness. If it's going to focus on that, you might get to see. So this, I've just changed the light in there to help it focus was a pretty cheap beer from the House of Trembling Madness as you can see £3.90 and this is an American IPA uh, Ransack the Universe by the Collective Arts Brewery 6.8% lovely bit of artwork on the cannage you know um, but yeah as I was saying I'm going to relax, enjoy this can of beer, um, edit the vlog, and then probably go straight to bed. Let's face it, who irons clothes these days anyway? Must be mad. If you're watching, Mum, come and iron us some clothes. Or at least put them away for us. Mount Clothuvius over there. So, just a quick uh, slurp on this before I go. Oh, it smells really nice. Lots of orange, very much like Amarillo. 
Mm. Oh. Oh, yeah. Jump pack with orange. Well, Galaxy and Mosaic shows what I know. And on that note, folks, oh, one more thing. I'm not sure how I'm going to vlog the open day. It's going to be very difficult. We'll approach it with trepidation. Um, tomorrow's vlog as well is also going to be difficult to film. But I will no doubt try and get something out there. And then when we get through into November, I think normal service will be resumed. But I don't want to promise too much. I'm half tempted. I'm half tempted to have a week off the vlogs, but I think if I did that, I'd probably find it difficult to pick it back up again. Whereas at the moment, I'm just, no scratch that I'm not having time off the vlogs. Couple of days, get the opening out of the way, and then we're gonna hit it again. Good vlogging, I think. Anyway, I am beginning to waffle on a little bit. Six minutes worth of waffle on here. I'll edit it down for you. We'll see you on tomorrow's vlog. Cheers.